What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do some coding on Pro Tool. I'll show you guys how to fold your mirrors in like this using Pro Tool. Uh, that was just clicking the, the remote. And then I will also show you how to... I'll show you how to get the velocity on your speedometer. And then... I will also show you how to make your halos stay on as your day running lights. So stay tuned. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do uh, when you get in your car is to make sure you have either a wireless adapter. Um, in my case, I'm using this LZL Run KD Can, K Plus D Can. I believe I got it from Amazon, so I can link it in the description after. Um, so first you're going to want to plug it into the OBD2 port, which is right here. Um, so the light's blinking on. I'm going to close my door so it's not too loud. The next, usually, um, just power on the car. You don't have to start the car completely, just get the lights on. And then go to your Pro Tool app. Go ahead and click on Pro Tool. We'll give it a minute to load here. Click on vehicle, click on connect. I haven't connected in a while, so it might take a minute here. So getting vehicle info. Okay, so from here, in my case, I'm in a 2011 BMW 135 or the E82 chassis. So go ahead and click on E82. finishing up uh, you might have missed it but it basically when it connects it does like a little gauge sweep um, so that's how you know you're connected here but it's still finishing up like I said sometimes it takes a little while if you haven't connected in a while connection established I don't know why I think connect so now you can just click off of it so now it shows connected there so we'll first start off with um, some coding and the main reason why I got this is to code out my adaptive headlight error um, I obviously don't have it on my dash anymore but I can show you a pop-up an image on the screen and basically um, instead of taking it to like a dealership or something that you know knows how to code cars and charges like $300 I bought this KD can I think it was like $20 and then I bought the license for Pro Tool I think that was like 80 so it was a hundred dollars and you know Spending that money, you can do more than just code out your adaptive air, but I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I'll first start off by saying you probably want to plug your car into like a trickle charger or some sort of battery charger just in case it takes you a little long. So I have my car connected to a charger, just an FYI. So we'll start with the adaptive headlight warning if you have the light on your dash, which should be um, where the date, or I'm sorry, not the date, the temperature and the time are. Um, so basically on the main menu, go ahead and click on safety. And then from safety, go ahead and click on FRM or footwell module. From there, click on coding, bottom right. Edit coding. We'll let it do its thing while it loads. <coughs> Backing up coding data. I already did this, so I'm not gonna save a backup, so I'm just gonna click on cancel. All right, so you're gonna wanna be um, on the FRM70 coding. Um, I keep it on the popular setting, I'm not sure. You can probably keep it on standard or expert. <clears throat> so go ahead and scroll down. And then here we go. Adaptive headlight error one and adaptive headlight error two. So what you're gonna wanna do um, to get rid of the light when it's on your dash here, Go ahead and click on it and the one and two just show the left and right i believe my passenger one went out but i turned them both off so go ahead and just click on the arrow and then go ahead and click on disabled and then go ahead to the adaptive headlight layer two drop down disabled click on finalize and then it does its thing and then basically it codes that off so that's how you go ahead and turn off your adaptive headlight all right now for the from the same menu the frm70 coding I'll show you how to basically make your side mirrors fold every time you 
press and hold the lock button. So again, from the FR, FRM70 coating, it should be right under the adaptive. Um, so scroll down. So there it is, folding mirrors via fob. So go ahead and click on that drop down menu here. So mine are enabled already. So basically, if you want to enable it, you click on enabled, click on finalize, does its thing, it'll save it. And then basically, usually I just like cycle on the, the power, you know, turn it on, make sure the power is completely off. And then I try it and test it, then it works. Alrighty, so the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to get the velocity, or the digital speedometer essentially, to show up on your dash right there. So on the Pro Tool main menu, so we're on the main menu now, go ahead and click on interior. So for the adaptive and the folding mirror via fob, we were under safety. So for the cluster, obviously interior, click on that. And then you're gonna wanna click on combi or cluster. So click that, coding, edit coding. Yeah, sometimes Pro Tool loads a little slow here, so we'll just be patient with it. So backing up coding data, I'm just gonna click on cancel because like I said, I've done this before already. Alrighty, so you're gonna want to make sure it says KOMB87 coding. I keep it under popular, but I'm pretty sure you could do that under standard or expert. So look at there, it's the first thing. So go ahead and click on digital speedometer, hit the drop down, enable, and then go ahead and click on finalize. And then that's how you get the velocity to show up on your dash. So that's one of my favorite features, honestly, of Pro Tool. That and then obviously the full mirrors. All right, the last thing I will show you is how to keep your angel eyes on at all times, even when your light control is at the off position. So, first, go to the Pro Tool main menu, go ahead and click on safety, let it focus again, then click on FRM or footwall module, coding, edit coding. Let it load. This is the only thing I don't like about Pro Tool is how it takes forever to load sometimes. So it does its normal thing, the backing up coding. Cancel that. Alrighty, so when you're on FRM underscore 70 coding, to get to the keeping to get to keeping the angel eyes on at all times, I usually click on standard. So let me go ahead and focus it so standard. Let it load up the menu here and then scroll down a little bit keep going keep going there we go so to keep your angel eyes on at all times um, angel eyes as drl euro so i believe that's how the euro spec comes um it keeps it on with like the side markers off and the halos on so click on the drop down menu enable it and then angel eyes is drl4 i click on that enabled click on finalize and then that's how you're able to have your halos on all the time even when your controls are on the off position so again frm70 coding go to standard and then angel eyes as drl euro and then the second one the one with the four in the parentheses enable it and go ahead and finalize that So if you guys have any other questions on how to do the coding again, um, just go ahead and feel free to comment. Um, I'll get back to you. My Instagram is also in the description. You can reach out to me there. But I mean, those are like the main things that, you know, I found beneficial with the Pro Tool app. The Angel Eyes always on is definitely the coolest feature. The runner up would probably be the mirrors. Um, but yeah, like I said, initially I bought the Pro Tool app to code out my adaptive headlight error uh, when i first got the car that's like the first like little issue i had the adaptive came on it like failed so i did research and found that pro tool was probably the best application for me since you know you can do cool coding features um yeah well if you guys um have any other questions just comment down below um please like comment and subscribe you know any video suggestions i could do on my car here it is again, it's a 2011 135i. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.